pretty bad. I got to use the camera to see the dogs. Bandits over there somewhere. Looks like him and Balin are together right there. That's what it looks like. Anyway, I thought I'd show you. I thought we might have a, a clear night, but I don't see any stars. I do see the lights from Newburgh. Keep in mind, it's about five miles to the top of that hill, and we're 10 miles from Newburgh. So. And I see the lights from Sherwood. Yeah, I really can't see much that way because there's too many trees hiding it. But, and Matt and Brooke come and got dry firewood. They didn't get that pile. Yeah, kind of irks me a little bit. So they better leave us some dry stuff. And yeah, if you can hear it, the fan on that furnace is making noise again. That furnace come out of the old fire station and to the best of my knowledge it was put in that fire station when the station was built in 54 and uh, we've had it however many years I think the only time anything had been done with those fan bearings was when they went out on us and that's only been a few years ago that I replaced them and they still don't sound right I mean they was good for a long time but Back to making noise again. <sighs> Hate to buy a new fan for it, <clears throat> but I'm getting tired of fighting the bearings. Anyway, it is that time of night. No, I didn't turn that light down there on. Somebody else did. And yeah, hey, just think. We had dinner on that table last night. And you can see in here, and Ty spent the night. She's been going through more stuff. She's finding more history. And we found some stuff back to like the mid 1700s. Kind of surprised me to find paperwork back that far on things, but yeah, you know, a lot of the stuff that's in here my grandmother had. That's only small books that yeah, that's, that, that, that's just part of what she's keeping. Well, those boxes over there are full. So, anyway. She's getting her stuff packed up so she can sleep on the couch, and I'm going to bed. Once I convince the three amigos here to uh, come with me. Oh, God, how far? Oh, hey, here we go. Don't ask me when we made those hats. It would have been in the 80s. But that's the original. Would have been uh, early 80s. That's, I don't know, there's three or four. One will be displayed in the office. Oh, she said, one's going to be in the office. Matt saw those. Matt saw those when he saw it. Oh, I want one. So he left with one on his head. And Brooke says, well, that won't stay that color very long. And, you know, I'm not going to wear it to work. Smart boy. Because we ain't getting any more of those made. And he does have one of the current ones that that you can get. There's a link somewhere to go to them. If I remember right. Well, I was kind of hoping we might actually get a little color to a sunrise, but obviously not. That must mean they're just not in the mood to give us a decent sunrise this morning. I didn't expect it, honestly. And actually, I'm feeling a little moisture in the air, and we're supposed to be 0% chance of rain. Interesting. Anyway, November 30th, 1939. Dad's birthday. So, cheers, Dad. Happy birthday.
See how far I can get this afternoon. <clears throat> I got all that. It's all right there. Hopefully you can see that because I can't see shit on the screen. Um, <clears throat> give you an idea how much how big that pile right there really is. Piper Doug will understand this one because he's got the same size manure spreader as we do. That's about six spreader loads, maybe a little more. I'm gonna tackle this mess. I might leave some of what's in the bottom of that feeder in it, but yeah, maybe not. It looks like pretty crappy stuff. This one's got mostly just shit in the bottom. So I'm going to get this cleaned up. I'm going to take the bucket and scrape that down, get rid of the slime on top. And we're going to put some gravel in there. And this is dry because the sun came out. In the clip, I got the... I don't know if I got one or two forkfuls out of there earlier, but yes, I was kind of slipping around everywhere, going and coming, because it was wet. Oh yeah, while we're here, if you notice the creek is down from what it was, it's still just enough in the creek that it's backed up into the old creek bed, but you know, it's down four feet from what it was. Maybe more than that. If I get over here in the shade, I can kind of see the phone. I'll zoom in. Come on, fingers. Make the thing work. You can kind of see how high I was on the bank. There's a hunk of firewood there, and I'm not sure that piece of firewood was there before the water came up. The one above it, up on the flat, that was there, but I don't think that other one was, so... It may be. <laughs> yeah, I don't see it down there. It may be the one I had where that one pipe had a hole in it. So I stuck it there so it didn't blow a hole in the ground. Anyway, skid steers in front of the fuel pumps because, well, it needed fuel and I had to change the bucket anyway. And now that my feet are full of shit, I'm going to go hose them off. Jump in the skid steer. And thankfully I warmed up at lunch. I was freezing earlier. I couldn't feel my fingers when I went in. And the sun feels good.
guess we can say that's one of those newfangled tire feeders. Got that a lot over there. You never know what you're going to find. Apparently Ty fed the front barn for me and I asked her to feed the back barn and never got a response. And then I saw Becky back at the back barn and I was just finishing what I was doing and she texted me and she says, let's get some bales fed. So, she had to steal my knife, of course. What do you think, dear? I don't think today. You don't think today? Where's my, where's my knife? Oh, damn. Damn, yeah, she's always trying to steal this poor thing. I cleaned up all that stuff I needed the skid strip for. Okay, saves me having to clean the skid strip um, so I can take it up there. We got, we have to go out after, um, We could go out after dark and see what the lights look like? Yeah, and see what the one behind the yeah. garage looks like. Uh, they the decided to like. get one of those projector lights for Christmas stuff. Shine it back to the shop. We and used then to. We did icicle lights up to the corner. Okay. And then we did the ones on the porch. We, uh, years ago, the nails are probably all still there with the old big light bulbs. We had a Christmas tree on the back of the shop, went from the peak to the ground. So, anyway, show you what I did. Since I didn't show you me doing it, but that's clean. I wish I had that other feeder in there. They are just messy. Part of it is the worm count was, it was all right, but it was high, but we literally wormed them, you know, right after the fecals were taken. So that's part of it. Coxie count is acceptable. You know, another month it may not be. But I showed you coming out of here once anyway and this at all I did not take any rock out of here all I got was the hay and manure and I'm still not back up where I was it was even there and I'm still six inches low but I filled in oh all the way through there I filled in over a foot and filled some up here oopsie I didn't pack one spot oh went well spot and a half I gotta fix the feeder because the tin's coming off the bottom on one end. And uh, of course I gotta get it, get it in the shop so I can get it to the welder to fix it. This is the whole load that Maury brought the other day, plus about a half a load's worth of rock that I already had. I gotta do something with this again too. I gotta cut this down a little bit. Yeah, we add over there, but only does so much. Cut this down, it'll last longer. And I took 
most of the what was left of the pile that was there and from last year from scraping snow I had I had two full scoops over here from what was in what I scraped from snow but that was after moving the piles of snow that were out front back here to get them out of the way so you know that's two full scoops plus that's also some scraping on the in here so anyway I'm about done at least it's been warmer this afternoon it's still not warm out but man the sun touching it makes a big difference what do you think girls huh and they leave me alone we're eating I see steam coming off the cows down at that end middle of the screen it looks kind of tan colored that's the steam give you an idea Anyway, I'm not going to hose that thing off because I think I'm going to get it full of shit again tomorrow. And it's pretty clean after dealing with rock anyway. And hose my boots off and go in and warm up. And probably be done for the day. So, hope you all had a great Saturday. Oopsie, a little dirty shit stuck in there. I hope everybody has a great Sunday. And thank you all for watching. And yeah, I know it's still up quite a ways. And there's smoke over there because the neighbor straight through here. Pretty sure they're probably burning garbage. It seems to be what they burn when they burn it outside. Then we smell it. Then there's another neighbor farther down from them that does the same damn thing. The one farther down from them, they've had a few talks with the fire department and with the cops about burning in the middle of the summer when it's 100 degrees out and there's a burn ban in effect and they don't care they just do it again and i don't know if you can see it i see at least a dozen chemtrails so you know clear day let's come trail it up see if we can make clouds anyway thanks for watching everybody see what tomorrow brings that goes back there for the steers you can uh, see why I took it out that was made from round feeder and two straight panels and these were cut mm -hmm. down to get the width we wanted and then the scraps actually that end that's not the original tin, and that's not the original tin, just the centerpiece. That was like, no, this stuff's like, what, 20 gauge? That was 14 or 16 gauge, and it's finally gone through, but the centerpiece is gone. And out of the other section and the pieces we cut out of those two, we made this one over here. It doesn't have any of the original tin on the bottom. That's just got scrap we had to fill in. <laughs> but it's, that's the mates to it. And, of course, same. Supposed to be straight <laughs> feed panels. That one needs a new tube. That's full of yellow jackets in it. <laughs> Lost, in case you're wondering. Uh, yeah, I got another tube I got to replace, other than the one that's already in the shop. But at the moment, that one's the priority. Well, both of them are priority to get done. If I've got material here for this, if I can get that put in tomorrow or fixed tomorrow, those guys, with the exception of the was it two that are going to that gal. The ones that are going to her, they'll go on the other end of the barn with the heifers for a week. Whatever it's going to be. I mean, next Saturday we're delivering them. And the rest of them will go to the back barn. And that'll get clean. And that shitty hay that's in that feeder will come out. So there's no chance of the coming two-year-olds getting any white mold. And they'll be in that pen. Okay, now I'm done. I'm going in. It's getting cold because... Obviously, I'm in the shade now. <laughs>